We'd been holding the Bois Jacques for two weeks now. We were low on ammo, low on food, and had been living in foxholes during one of the coldest winters on record. And what's more, the Germans had artillery, and they knew exactly where we were. Damn shit. This chow smells like your armpits. At least my armpits are warm. <laughs> Fellas, you? seen Babyface? Can't find him anywhere. I think I saw him in the front, Doc. Awesome. Cheers, Wayne. <sighs> Babyface. Yeah, what do you want? I'm gonna need your first aid kit. I ran out of morphine. Okay, sure. While you're at it, I wanna reinforce your cover. Oh, and anyone care for a smoke? Keep him dark. I don't smoke. Alright then. You got about an eighth of a mile of open field to cross before you get to Viac. They'll be covering fire here and here. You gotta move quickly. Got it? Got it. Wait for the signal. Go, go, go!
everything's right where it should be. Sniper! So give me Shipton! Where's Shipton? Okay Shipton, right building, up a window. Hey, Babyface, you gave us a real scare back there. You get a good long rest at the aid station. Thanks, but I'd prefer to stay with the boys. You know what, babe? You're nuts. <coughs> hey, Buck, I think I'll have that smoke now. Unlike O'Brien, Babyface wasn't critically wounded, and I knew it wouldn't be long before he was back in combat. 